Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Kaiman, and this video is specifically made for you as a college freshie, college freshman, new student, whatever it calls. I mean, if you are not, why you are watching this video in the first place? So, um, I totally understand your feelings. I know that you are quite nervous, you are quite anxious, you do not know what to expect. I totally understand your feelings because I am a college freshman before. So this video, I would like to share some of the things that I have learned and some of the things that I have realized and I hope I knew last time when I was a college freshman. All right, the first thing I would like to tell you is go for orientations. You will receive some advice from your seniors that tell you that orientation is boring, you shouldn't go. It's no harm to not go for orientation. Don't let those things shake your decision off. Please go for orientation. The reason is this. Orientation is by far the most memorable memories that a lot of us students had in our university life. It is a very great time for you to make new friends and have a fun time at orientations. The fact is, there's only one chance of going to orientations during your whole four to five years college life. So never miss this opportunity. And during the orientations, there's normally a campus tour for you to join. Please join the campus tour. You might have problem in finding your class and be late to your class because you do not know where to go. So it's important for you to go to the campus tour. Make sure you take note of the place, take a book or a phone with you so that you write down the location. This place is called what building. Another place is called what building. After you have done all your registration, now is the time for you to go for your first class. So the first advice that I would like to give you is go early. Let's say you have a class at 10 a.m. Make sure you reach your venue, your class at 9.30 a.m. If you are going your class at the exact sharp time and you're having problems in finding your class, normally during that peak hour, there's no students who are willing to stop and bring you to the locations because they are in a hurry as well. And another tips I would give you is when you reach early to your class, get a front row seat because this will be very useful for my next tips that I'm going to give you. So now I would like to tell you what to expect in your first class. So I do not know whether you're aware of this or not, but normally, a lot of the lecturers, a lot of the class, they require to do things called group assignments where you need to form a group of five and work with them so that you get the same grade as your teammates. During the first 15 minutes when your lecturer haven't reached the class, you have the time to socialize with the people beside you or next next to you, whoever it be. Try your best to socialize or at least to talk to them so that when your lecturers want to assign people into the group, you know who to approach. And the reason why I ask you to sit the front row is because normally the students that sit in front row are those better kid, I would say. There's much more nerdy or they are much more serious in doing their work. I'm not trying to be judgmental, I'm not trying to stereotype, but I will tell you that the main complaints for people in college is phase free riders because when you face like if five people in a group and two is a three free riders who do not do anything, then the three people will have to carry the work of five people which is quite tough. There's a lot of strategies of finding a group assignment teammates to push your result, but it's not much applicable to you right now yet, but it's applicable to your next SAMs or your future SAMs. So if you would like to know how to find good assignment teammates, be sure to follow this series. And by the way, this is the first episode for this series. I'm going to do a uh, few videos for this series to guide you as a new college student to familiar yourself with college life. So I hope you like this video. Uh, give a thumbs up, subscribe. 
and I will see you soon in my next video. Peace.